Afrocentric Home Design. I wanted to let you know that we are going to be regular. So let's look at my bedroom. I am going to make up my bed. I'm going to make up my bed. Don't laugh at my plain, my plain bed. But these are sheets that I, uh, what did I do? I can't remember. Sheets that I designed. So I had to sort the of fabric, fell in love with these deeper symbols, decided to turn them into sheets, and the rest is history. So there's a flat sheet, there's a fitted sheet. I'm sorry, there's a fitted sheet. I pointed to it. I'm putting that on the flat sheet, which is the flat sheet. And each, uh, each set comes with four pillowcases. I was just wanted to, I was like, I have to check in and then we're going to sleep. So this is my, what I do when I get back from vacation. I pack, I put all the dirty clothes in the hamper. All the dirty clothes in the hamper. And uh, yeah, that's the thing that I told you, ladies. And I sleep and I'm out. And this robe. I'm so happy to have in the phone. Yeah. And this robe, I designed it with the G on the end back. It had a, a, a nightgown to go with it, but I kept tripping over it. Some about it wasn't right. So anyway, I gave it away. <laughs> but it's been a little chilly. So yeah, this is a set, one of my favorites. So now what we're going to do is it's actually been cold at night. So. I'm gonna already layer up the blankets. So this is another blanket, not my design, but a good name. It's called Patch Patch. And that's the list. It's several different patches of Ankara uh, Kente. So you can see the bed too. But, let me see how it is. Yeah, several different patches sewn together. So this is the extra bedding. Because it'd be cold, cool at night. Like I said, we're going to do some cool way. We're going to the heat way. We're going the opposite. And then for the last thing, I put three. I'm going to be like, three layers? I'll be like, but I saw he ain't kick none off, so it obviously worked. Okay, so now this is the last one. This one is actually a curtain. It even has the curtain hoop or hole. You put the rod in here. So it's a curtain. It's a curtain, but I need this curtain because I don't have the rod, the measurements, and the things are wide. So I use it as a bedspread. And the symbol on it is the Indigra symbol. But yeah, so I'm just going to put it all on. Normally I wouldn't do it. Because I like them, I love them, the street set, but I want to be, when I'm ready for bed later, I'll be back. So you have the Sessa Most Bon symbol, which is for transformation of change or attitude. So it's an Adinkra symbol. So, and it's, you know, I, 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 I designed it, this whole thing, this whole curtain that I was going to do. It was about T. Henry. I really wanted that sister was bomb, but I wanted it to be in the stars. So here are the stars. Oh, man, stuff. Okay, let's do a little chitty chatty. Hey, I love this room. I love this room. Like when I design and build, we build a house you know, on the land. One thing that we have, I'm taking a lot, a lot from this room. Uh, uh, first of all, I like the simplicity of it. But of course, I mean, I want to cover things. Like I said, I want to do a bamboo house. You know, know, I would like to do a bamboo tiny house first, and then we live on that while the other parts of the house is being built. So we'll see how that goes. But that is my hopes and my dreams. Uh, and I want to have a bamboo. So yes, but I'm saying I like the size of the room. I love the uh, the, the, the balcony. The deck area, I love the light. I love waking up and you feel like you're outside. Like I love it, because I don't even have drapes, so. And it's the glass where you can see out, they can't see in. 
So I love it. And yeah, I love my room, love my bed. See, they think with symbols, they carve actually, you saw them on the, on the foot of the bed, but they also carve on the head of the bed as well. And uh, yeah, I love my carved bed. So let me show you a little bit of the rest of the room and what I would be doing. And look at the, let's look at the pillowcases too. So that's my laundry basket. It's made from cane and uh, the plant. And it's, uh, it's pretty dope. I love it. It's one of my favorites. I, I, I painted it red, gold, and green. I painted it red, black, and green. I mean, I bought two more and did that with those. And I use them as trash cans and recycling. So now, what we're going to do, now these don't really match now, but it's okay. I'm still going to put it on and then you can't see because I'm going to cover them with the blue one. I had a birthday for those that don't know. I'm 55. I cannot believe I was thinking I was just so old. I was looking old. I was, it was over. I was done. And now I feel like I feel 12 and look 15. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. I went into nature and I hope to stay there. I got these extra blue pillows. Oh, well, let me show y'all something. Y'all, y'all want to give y'all to get this one. Now I got something special for y'all. So the blue, you know, the blue, the blue like, you know, now makes it more of a, like a set, you know? You don't see the other one, but you do, but you know, it's good. Let me show you what looks like else. I want to show y'all. Oh, God. So now, oh, I gotta stop doing that. I don't have to do that. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Oh my God, I could actually, oh no, but the only reason why I'm not going to do it this way is because, okay, I got to take it out. So let's look at the room. Let's look at the current state of the messy room. And let's look at the whole room too so we get an idea. Yes, this is way better. Yay, go team, go team. Now this door, I got to get it fixed when it slams. Of course. It's most the air, there's a lot of air here. So you are now walking into... I call this is the master bedroom, but the master bedroom really they would call the other one, which I'll show y'all because now we got a better phone. We should be doing this uh, because yeah, the other one uh, is the master bedroom. But this I chose this one for the master bedroom because of the balcony. Don don. So you walk in. Omg! And you can't feel the breeze. I bet you can. I bet you can hear it because the wind has been even more fierce lately. So you get an incredible breeze. And you get the balcony. Y'all, all of my plants, from the first time we left, the first time we left for two weeks, them plants, they, none of them made it. Then we left again for four days, but I'm still keeping hope alive. I saw some green stuff on a few of them. And so, yeah, so this is where I gotta sleep because it gets very, very dusty. Look at the screen. Like, that needs to be clean. Manasi's gonna do that. But I'm gonna sleep out here. And just the whole room, that's the dust of the dirt road you can see the road is dirt road so there's a lot of dust so the pictures are not up because the walls are concrete i don't have a cement that type of drill so i just ain't really been bothered with it you know but i would like to put her up this is the warrior woman and i love her i love her and i love i still have my lamp i still have my uh, these are all made from calabashes that's a big calabash and small ones, and it's a floor lamp, and it lights up, and it's beautiful. Isn't this beautiful? There's the lights. You can see. Gorgeous. And then this bed is a bed that is, in car is carved with the Indinkra symbols. So for those, I know some new people are viewing me. I got questions. Yes, I design. I've designed a lot of my clothes. If I don't design, I can get it for you. So... I actually, yeah, I design clothes, I design uh, bedding and furniture and yeah, all kinds of stuff. So anyway, this is my bed right now, but the room is very, I mean, the room is so simple that, yeah, y'all know y'all can't believe it. Like, where's, where's the, where's the, at least the painting and a painting or something there? I think I want to put some cloth here. So y'all, I'll tell you what it is. And I, I really want the Zen and I want the very minimalist vibe, but Afrocentrically. So I kind of did that, but I know if, if I could, yes, this picture of the lovers 
and the love corner would be up, and that would be up. And I got a, 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 I got a, uh, I got a painting that I want to bring here. So I'll, I'll put it up eventually. I've tried with stuff that wouldn't have to bang into the wall, but I've been unsuccessful. But I actually love this. I love waking up. Me and my man love our space. So that I'm, I got to sweep. This is the second room. So this room is the office. The office. The office. So in this corner is the house plants. I only have a few house plants. But they do very well. These are all minimalist plants, like needing minimal water. I gotta cut that little dry part off, but still doing very nice. The fern, this is the ZZ plant, don't need a lot of water. And this is, I think, the Chinese evergreen. I wanna say that, but I can't really be sure. But this one, it could try to die and just keep producing more and more. And then here are those same laundry baskets that I talked had designed, I wanted to ask the, the name flag and I wanted the mar remembrance, remembrance of Marcus Garvey and Liberation Colors. But again, you see the plant, the dry parts. This will have a lot of dust. So when I sleep before, when I come back, I have to sleep again, from especially traveling. It's okay. Uh, stuff that's on the, these paintings are for sale if anybody wants it. This one's not. This one right here is the one I want to put in my bedroom. I got this out in the, we should call it a gallery, actually our gallery. And then this is Kwame Nkrumah. Oh, this, this is my inspiration room as a designer. I designed that dress, yes. And I designed this bag, this leather bag. Come on, I'm gonna give it away. I'm about to give this bag away for $100. That is the lowest I'm gonna go. So yeah, so then, uh, but this is my inspiration. Like, I do the collar box. These, these are the collar box. The other collar boxes I sold to Natika. Uh, if, uh, I'm selling other ones, but these are the two that I designed myself, so I didn't want to sell. But this is what I'm most excited about. I want to make sure you remember, I know it's summertime, but y'all know fall is steadily approaching. Y'all know fall is steadily approaching. Isn't it fun to do this? Oh my God, new camera. Uh, and so as much as we, you know, it's a joy, I agree, to be sunny, but it's gonna be cold again. And I wanted to show you all some stuff that you might be interested in. Let me see, where should we be? This is be right here. So this is my shelf. These are, I created, designed these amazing, beautiful baskets. Regular green Ghana, top to bottom. Somebody made them. That's people from the north. Ooh, look at you in the closet, because I tell you, the breeze and the cross breeze. Yeah, seriously. Let me that. That's right. I'm going to go easily. It's like, I'm going to go easily with this thing. It's all ladies. Got it. Okay. So, yeah, I absolutely, 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 absolutely love these. And these here, if you go about a bit all above, these are curtains, the kitchen and the bathroom curtains. And I'm selling them. I'm also selling the hats. And I'm gonna get a little closer with you. So let's do it now. I'm gonna take you off this. And I forgot, because I can turn you around now. All right, so uh, this is what I'm really looking for. So this is one of my favorite fabrics. It's from Niger like n-i-g-e-r part of africa but y'all i created my own mud cloth pillowcases this Najir fabric matches this is i also i designed this hobo bag and the fabric is using the Najir fabric the white stuff is there it's just here here it gets moist and you just gotta wipe it off but yeah and then i designed a what we call i call my design very own design a pyramid bag with the Najir fabric so now I also have, oh, sorry. I also have now done some pillowcases. So let's have some fun with the pillowcases. All right, I'm gonna sit at my little desk that. I haven't sat in a little while. Greetings. Welcome to the studio. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to get that point together. But anyway, welcome to the studio. Let me see. Where do I like talking to y'all from? We haven't been in the studio in a while, so it's a little hard. 
But I just go come close. Okay. The lighting sucks. Okay, hold on. I know why. I just got the stuff behind me. Always be something behind me. Okay. All the sounds are so annoying. We'll have this together by next time. But let me just show you the mud cloth pillowcases. And I should have gotten a pillow. So let's go get a pillow. So you can see how beautiful the mud cloth pillowcases are. So enjoy the artwork. I'll be back. being patient so I brought my pillows and I want to show you the cases. The very cases that I'm showing you are the cases that's actually on sale. So Najir, this is the Najir fabric. Each cut is from a different piece of the Najir so each one is unique. I'll never do another one because I don't have the fabric. So they are very very beautiful. So let me just show you it's supposed to be a long back pillow, but it's very soft and kind of cheap. So, but I want to show you how well it still fits in there. You can see how beautiful these are. And then I'll tell you how many I have. I said I was going to keep one for me because, again, I made the pyramid bag. I made the hobo bag. I made so many things from this one fabric. This one fabric. And I think I sold one within the G. I did. I sold one within the G. I'm almost sure to one customer. So that I mean like this one piece or these two, these two big pieces of fabric is all from one cloth, one cloth. So it's dope, it's dope. Okay, so I don't know if you have to see me, but I put it in. And so I'm gonna show you, close it. I love this fabric. I have a few more that's actually mud cloth. But this is in, and then here's your beautiful pillow. So my mother where this is when you put this on your, you put this on your chair. So let me show you. I thought against the white, it would look really pretty. If you can see it. That's from Africa. So this is a genuine, uh, I'm gonna say mud cloth and Najir, so African cloth. So Najir cloth from Najir, uh, accent pillow. Cases. Is that not gorgeous? So if you are interested, you can email me at Afrocentric on Design. They are not on the website because it's only a few, and once they're gone, they're gone. So I will tell you how many exactly. And we'll actually dress another one, but not within the chair. We just did that one. So I have three all together. Let me just show you. Like I said, they're all from a different part of the cloth, so three all together. So the one that's on here, the one that's here, so one, and then this is two. I'm gonna say two because I'm gonna keep one, and this will be three. So I'm gonna just say two because I have to, I have nothing, I have no more left, so I have to say it. Okay, the battery's going low, that's good to tell me, but I think we'll be fine. So I have two, two for sale, yes. And thank you, Naturally said, you can go to the website, afrocentrichomedesign.com, or you can email me at afrocentrichomedesign at gmail.com, and you can also catch app if you are feeling that birthday vibes and it's still going on. Let me show you the other ones. I told you I had mud cloth. I don't have this fabric anymore. Somebody bought a pyramid bag and also a hobo bag with the same cloth. This is from the same cloth, and this is the last piece, and this is the green one. So let's take the pillow. Let's put the pillow inside, and I have one more, the red one. The red one is special. I like keeping the red one uh, goes with my husband's travel bag. And it's a bag I designed as well. I'm going to show you the bag, his luggage, yeah, his travel bag. I thought, I, it's like I said, I started out with a sister who wanted a red and so a bag. She bought a hobo bag, which is really beautiful. She bought uh, in red. She bought a pyramid bag, it was the same pattern, same fabric. And it came out, I bought it like that, and, that's, and that fabric was really, really nice. 
So she got a little sack. So now she was like, well, I got a hobo bag, I got a parent bag. Let me get some, like a duffel bag, a travel bag, a weekend bag. And so I didn't put, and that's a shame. Let me see if I can turn this around. Yeah, that's better. The weekend, yeah, so she wanted a bag. So I didn't have any more of the red she, that I originally gave her. For the other bag, I didn't have any more mud cloth in that pattern. So, beautiful. Show you on the chair. I didn't have it in that pattern. So I had to, I bought some mud cloth that was white and it was all black. All white with black symbols. And I dyed it to the color. But once she saw the whole thing, she was based on another bag. And once she saw the whole thing, it just didn't jive with her and that was okay. So I wound up giving it to my man and it's such a man's bag to me. But let me, but I didn't get to that. I'll show you that one. I don't want to talk about right now. Is that not gorgeous? Look at that against that white. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? I mean, this is me. Like, if y'all want to know, like, where she is, like, what? This is what I would like. I want people to have the, the accent pillows. In. No, so let me show you the next one, which we're going to use this one. So enjoy. But this is the, the one I was just talking about. And then these pair together on a sofa. Dear customers, I diva, and I'm sure you got them by now. I hope you did. So you can see now you got your little accent pillows. Okay, this one is the one that matches my man's luggage. So this one was this one is really special because, like I said, this all this red you seen was white, and the black lines was there. I had to work with my man to have this the same exact color as this other red one that never did it before. He never did it before but it was successful. So this is that cloth, and this is the leftover cloth from the bag that I made. So I'm gonna stuff it while I do that. Let me get my husband's luggage and you'll, get, you'll see the whole thing. So this piece of luggage, this is the bag, as you can see. This is the bag. It's bad. Like it's bad. It's just so big. It's big. You know? It was bigger than me. So yeah. So when she when she saw the whole thing, she just wasn't really feeling it. But it was okay because it's you know some things. So I was like, no, I put so much into this bag. I got this the inside of the bag. Like now I would probably put like a. I need to get some mud cloth, maybe a kente inside. This is my, my this is my first travel bag. I wanted something very big. So the size is huge. Has the front pocket. Has the look at the back, it's absolutely gorgeous. I need to do this bag again. If somebody is interested in me doing this bag with the level on the side. We went on numerous trips in not the best conditions on the buses. And it has not nothing. I think the zipper and the guy fixed it. So this was left over. So I don't know, you know, it's like, and this is, and so I feel like that red bag is like really part of my men's line. Like that was me feeling like, yo, I'm getting into it. But now we can look at the pillows. Okay. So now we're going to take, uh, we're going to take the green one out. Now we're going to take the Majir one out. We're going to keep the green one. They're going to see the red one now, okay? So, isn't it beautiful? I know. It's not a tripod. A tripod is not friendly. Okay. So, we're going to take this out. So, each of them have a zipper on one end, one end only. And it's a little tight at the zipper so that the pillow can be very squished and tight and firm. But I measured it for 20, just a, I measured it for 20 by 20. So we want to know size 20 by 20. So we're gonna let this one, and we're gonna try, we're gonna do this one. But yeah, and you know what? I mean, I like that, what I love about the patterns too are they are, they are very unisex friendly. 
We're men and women friendly, like the unisex friendly. So I love that because this is, you know, like I said, I wound up making this bag, and this bag wound up being a men's bag, which I, I thought it was going to be a woman's bag, you know, or just, I don't know, I thought that. But they, these designs have a mind of their own, and they know what they want, and they know what they're supposed to be, and they will let you know. So, so yeah, so this is the man. So how many I have them? I have the green one, one. I have this red one here, one. And then I have two, I have three, but I have two, the Cuban one, of the Gia. So I have four mud cloth. If somebody wants them all, you're gonna have every last one of them because they pair really nicely together because they're mud cloth, they're African. Okay. So, there we go. I wanted to put the two together that almost had a similarity. Then my pillows. Only thing I gotta get on it before I send you. I forgot the other one is my little tag. I gotta put my little tag Afrocentric home design. Now let's get Kwame in there. Mr. Nkrumah. Kwame's first pregnant. That's something to say. If you are interested, these are the very same. Now I will be making much more pillows. I will be making way more pillows. I want you to know. And so, yeah, the pillows are coming. And then this is the Najia fabric. Don't forget, unique and beautiful. Which y'all think? So those are for sale, okay? Also, the Najia pyramid bag that you did see. Original design. Everybody knows I designed these. Pyramid spaceship. Hey, what is the purse? Hey. But anyway, yeah, I just really wanted to focus. I don't want to show you too many things today. I just really wanted to focus on the pillowcases. So I only have four tuna gear, one two mud cloth, one red mud cloth, one green mud cloth. Uh, Y'all should come and get them. So email me for the price because it's not on the website. And uh, yeah, and then I'll be still selling other stuff like, oh yeah, I'm selling, well, I'll tell you, we'll do a whole thing tomorrow. Like the calabash is still on the wall. But I got my sister Natika, who bought a lot of the calabashes. She bought the lamps. So I'm home now. She bought the, um, some of the curtains. So the curtains in the background are also curtains as well for, you know, African curtains for doorways, for windows. I used it for all. So yeah, y'all. So anyway, I just want to say peace, blessings, love, peace, joy, happiness. We are here in Afrocentric space. I am still here. We're still going to be doing our thing. We're still selling. Um, I'm getting closer to like what I want. I really want to have a beautiful line, and I really want it to be like furniture and everything to do with Afrocentric like home design. So I'm not at this point. I'm not really designing clothes. I know people ask me that, but I'm not really designing clothes. I'm not, that's, I'm not in the space to design clothes. My mind's not there, but, but designing things for your furniture, for your bamboo, and all your other stuff like that, yeah. But clothes, I'll come back to maybe at another time, another space, because I do want to do some village dresses. Because I got inspiration to have you know, clothes designed just for being in the village, living in the village, walking in the village, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a real thing, and the clothes, and the, just stuff that's eerie, that's breathable, you know, that's sensual without being too sexy that covers but still are very flowing so i got it. it's mostly going to be well, it's going to be very various colors and i feel like the cotton is going to be like a muslim cotton or a uh a, a just a, yeah, a very like soft cotton very flowy it's a lot of halter dresses a lot of two top dresses um and just other ruffles here but not what you think just very very garden-like, sensual, but long. So yeah, I could wear my dresses when I'm up there and just get on that. So yeah, and then of course we got a retreat going. So tomorrow, this is my week. I'm just gonna stay home for weeks because I need to. Um, I got a I, I got a, a retreat group that I'm putting together, and it'll be up tomorrow. So it's free to join. It's on Facebook, and I'll give you all the details and the link for people to join. And uh, so that's number one, I wanna do that. So we can start, the people that are serious about the retreat, we can start organizing the retreats, which is very, very important. And, and uh, a lot of upcoming stuff. So stay tuned, let's see, let's see who's on. Ah, I see names I ain't seen in a while. 
Miss Maya Wallace, Auntie Stop and Lily making the best. Oh, but what I got? Oh, the girls, we got the girls just arriving three minutes ago. Oh, 30 minutes ago. Okay, good. Hey, hey, love to travel with Wade. Good afternoon. This is gorgeous, nice. And don't forget your handbags for design. Thank you, Maya G. Thank you. Thank you, uh, D Battles. Yes, if you are interested, let us sister know. Now she says, peace and love. The intuition said, that's right, the intuition. Thank you, Nancy. 21 day intensive started today. You can still join us. It's $77. It's a live class each morning at 6 a.m. So, you know, we're going to go into the other room. Do I have the trunk part in there? Yeah, 6 a.m. And it's going to be, it's, it's already lit. And it's life changing, life transforming. And uh, I think you will be feeling this. So we hope that you come along and give us a little light. We hope that you come in. So thank you for that. Yes. Yes, the Mudclaw pillowcases, they are, ooh, that's my signature. That's about to be my signature. Like I said, my inspiration has always been, you know, the late now, great B. Richard, B. Richards, B. Smith. I like B. Richards, so B. Richards, but B. Smith with style and She's always inspiration to me, have her own line and, and this major stores, you know. So I still want my Afrocentric, you know, way of life and my designs to be out there. Like all of this, like these are curtains, you know, these are curtains that I put on this rod thing that was holding this white background. So when you do videos, you want a white background and take pictures. And my daughter sent it to me from Amazon. And then I was like, you know what? I don't know what made me think of it, but I have these extra. I have moved from an apartment where I had my, these, I have all these, all of my designs, my curtains are made. I mean, you know, the, the, the fabric is there, but I turned them into curtains. And I had them all up in my one apartment. I had them all up. So everywhere around the house, you saw my curtains. And, uh, but when I moved here, the, 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 the measurements of different the curtains did not fit. They were specifically made for that apartment. And I thought standard uh, windows, which I still believe that they are, but. I don't live in the standard rhythms now place. So now I had to use them in another way. So I sold anyone that was in a set. And it was, I think on my sets was always either four or more curtain panels or six or six, four to six curtain panels. And I sold those and people are loving them, showing me pictures. So I thank y'all. I'm so glad my personal collection. And these were ones that I only had two of. Or I think all of these here, I only have two of. So two, right, yeah, I think that's it, and two, yeah, except, so all these I only have two of. And so those were the ones I didn't sell, so I decided to use them as a backdrop. So that is what it is, you don't see that, but it's really a backdrop. So nobody knows where you are, they just know, oh my God, she is like in color. And uh, I love it, it says, sisters, I love it. So yeah, so Apple Central is here, remember, it's the land, it's all about the land. So. I'll be on the land, I'll be decorating, I'll be, I was telling the other group, I was telling the other uh, YouTube channel that, y'all, I'm totally about the landscaping life. You don't even have to worry, okay? I thought I was going to be like, no, don't touch anything. I want the land rough and rugged, but I've changed my mind. I decided I've seen some beautiful landscaping. So we're going to be designing on the outside. We're going to be designing a, 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 a tiny house made from bamboo. We're going to be designing a whole two-story house. And then we're also going to be designing the, uh, the landscaping and the pieces of bamboo because bamboo is so abundant in the, in the uh, village that I'm living in, that I'll be living in especially. Um, so yeah, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be Afrocentric home design, next level all the way, next level all the way. Like that's all I can say. Afrocentric home design, next level all the way. So design on a real way. So now I'm designing my space outdoors and indoors. You know, it's uh, and the furniture. Designing my own furniture, my bamboo line, like my bamboo furniture line. Like the furniture is something I've always thought that would just be like more black furniture designers. Like I always wanted to do, and I wanted it to be natural. I wanted it to be sustainable. Like I just local. You know. And it is all of that and more. So I'm very, very excited. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna the bamboo. I'm gonna make it my bamboo uh, utensils, so my cutlery, uh, knives, forks, spoons, uh, bamboo uh, dishes. So just that whole natural life. But yeah, so yeah, the home decor is gonna be lit, and I'm gonna have my design. Like I'm excited. Like oh, I got it back. The passion is back. I think 
I had to do everything. And I realized how much of so much of it that I just was not, I mean, like I just couldn't keep up or, so it's the, it's the designing. It's just too hard sometimes to find the right seamstress, the reliability, if they, because you're not the only one employing them. There's, uh, they, no, actually sometimes you're the only one and they need other work, so they have to go and they're not always there or they're not quite on it where you want it or you gotta go three people just to get one piece done because you gotta go here and then you gotta go stamp it. Mom was starting to get intricate with the boutiquing. So it was a lot, you know, and then the, the having to, yeah, so then the measurements not always right. I just, you know what, it's a lot of work and it's a, it could be expensive too. So that's the only reason why, I mean, I never really told them, but that's why it's not like I don't like the design. I love it. And sometimes I'll be wanting to design for myself. Like right now, I have to be inspired to design. And my designs usually always reflect my, where I'm at in my life, my environment, my home, my whatever, whatever junction on a metaphysical or spiritual level. And I am on a very minimalist, naturalist kind of Right, but clearly I need some dresses because the village lake says the women wear dresses and you feel you want to. It's natural and warm and beautiful. And so this idea of what the outfits, like they keep coming to me. But I don't know necessarily I'm going to sell them because it'll be up in the mountains too. So that I think I'll just design for me. Like, you know, it would be nice because I don't know if it's just this season, but you know, the Volta region, definitely the evenings and the mornings are cooler. I would love to like, you know, know some of y'all would never think like, I'm gonna say it. I would love to learn how to knit. Like if I could do something and just have some beautiful knit sweaters or knit, you know, like I would think, I mean, I wouldn't mind, like I said, learning how to do it, but I also, for my side, if I know somebody can do it, I'll design it. That's what I'm gonna do. I ain't gonna send me knitting. I'll design it, but uh, maybe I will. I don't know, I could. Like I, I think I would love to try it. I, you know what, I think I would do great, but I want to have more knitted products. Yeah, knit it because it is called for. You need a little jacket at night, you really do. And in the mornings too, you know. But after that, it's you know, the day's warm and hot even and beautiful. It's even beautiful during that time, just normal, you know. So, and like things with hoods because you know, they, they, it's a rainforest, so they really have a rainy season. And so, yeah, so just, but very feminine. And, and yeah, I'm going for, feminine, flowy, sensual, more than sexy even, sensual, goddess-like, right? You see this hairstyle, just imagine like a flower, that kind of, yeah, you know, comedic goddess, long dresses, flowy dresses, even short ones if they're flowy, as long, you know, short bubble below the knee. So that, those are definitely, like I got to, because every clothes that I got, I never feel like it fits. But I also have to say, when you're out in the land, especially when I'm out there cultivating the land, you know, digging, planting, and, and all that stuff, I do want cute outfits too. And those require more like those whole jumpsuits made from that fabric that the, bur the bugs don't like to adhere to, so they can't really stick to you. Uh, but yeah, some really funky, jumpsuits because you would want to be covered a lot when you're out there so yeah like i'm inspired to do that i still want to be afrocentric and everything i do I, I love i'm afrocentric i love afrocentricity so now once the house is being built though i mean now we're going to other levels i am now into the beaded curtains because those big that wood is actually bamboo then no so now that i know i can use bam that bamboo is used like i'm so here for it so natural as natural as possible but i'm about that the calabashes the the bar that i the design the bar that i created that i designed is actually now I'm looking at it duh ha ha it's bamboo and it's wrapped in cane like see i've been at bamboo the, the, that set the black set and you know what i realized that even the um this is bamboo wrapped in cane even a couch and i had no idea like that's making me but I, but you know i always call it cane furniture so it's a lot of cane look at all this cane but and this is the bamboo and all the things you can do wrapped in the cane so yeah so i love this for this furniture this kind of furniture this cane furniture 
uh, it's light, it's airy. So that's another thing too. If you want that lighter, airy kind of feeling, it's great. And also, it's great for if you have to if you move, right? You don't have to like have all this heavy furniture. So it goes with you. Yeah. So we're gonna be doing so right now. I was I was cleaning up the dining area that we never ever sit in. So I think I'm gonna switch it up, ladies. I think I'm gonna take those those um, what you call those uh, vases. And I'm not going to section it off like that. I'm going to put the, these vases on the other side and have them more open. So that meaning when I come in the door, like, we'll actually want to sit there. Because I think when you come in the door, you got that barrier. It just feels like now you got to walk around. So it's actually too formal for me because I don't feel like I'll be home. But do I say that a lot? That's what I said. I think I should live outside in a freaking treehouse because I don't feel like I would. I don't know, you know. Well, in all honesty, I'm not gonna buy anything new for the house. I'm not gonna add one new thing. I'm not even gonna get drapes for the for the, for the uh, balcony door, sliding gate balcony. No, because every piece of money that I make is going to the land. The land, like right now, we're at the, in the process. Of, excuse me, y'all. I'm putting a borehole onto our land, so. Um, yeah, so, um, and then after that, we got to get the electricity that we, you know, brought into on the land, and we got a thousand things to do, so I don't, why would I put money here when I could actually put here? If I put 500 CDs into something, that could have bought something, whether it's a tool, some mixing agent, some mud, <laughs> some cement, like, I mean, it, no, yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm not, there's not much more like, there's no decorating going on in this house, just so you know. But I will not be in this house a lot all the time. I will be on the land, and the land is where the decorating is gonna go. That was it. So if my sister is watching, I actually, this is a dress I designed, and I designed the one I'm going to wear mine tomorrow. I haven't worn all oh, these dresses. I'm tripping not wearing these dresses to the boat. So when I go back, I'm going to wear these dresses. But my man is the Batik King. So he he actually, this is his design. This is a carry shell. And this other one right here is the G. I mean, this is all his fabric. So my man is a designer as well. This is his fabric, but I but this one, so this is a dress I had, and I made another one, my sister, my lioness, my other Leo, and she ordered this one, so this one is hers. I just gotta get one thing done, fixed for her, so it'll be perfect, but it's a gorgeous design. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, powerful, so Queen, if you're watching your dress, so I got it in my bag, I got it in my market bag, because I'm going to take it tomorrow, I'm going to go and see if Quake one work, needs to work tomorrow because it's available, because we got to go to the seamstress, but if she comes by, that's fine too, I'll call her and see if she wants to meet me. So anyway, that's going to go near the door, because it's going out there. So if she wants to meet me, I'm going to make sure she gets this. So I can get that out. So yeah, I had two packages returned today. And I don't know, I gotta go to the art center to find out. Or I'll have people tell me which two people. So if you've been waiting and you know you got a tracking and all that hasn't come, two have been returned. And I had one return already, so I'm not sure why. But that was during that part. I don't know what's going on in the stage. You gotta tell me. I don't know, but two is returned. But thank God they are returned, thank God. That they actually return it back. So if you've been late and you didn't get it, I'm gonna see if it's yours and so we'll go find out. But uh so yeah, y'all, but really like what I, I that's like my creative, you know, I love all that stuff and I wanna I, I definitely the micro pillowcases, I wanna make that all damn day. Like pillowcases or you know, accent pillowcases. And I love all this stuff too, but I think that the house stuff will be more when I actually have a house. When I actually have a house, then you'll really see me decorating in a, in a, in a hopefully beautiful way. But what I'm most intrigued by now is really my classes, my intuition class that's coming up, my 21 day intensive, 
my uh, Thursday Lives, which are definitely more in-depth and personal. This Thursday Live is $10. You can go to the website, AfrocentricHomeDesign.com, and you'll see single purchase, and that's for one for $10 class for the night. It usually is an hour, but it goes to two. Um, it's scheduled for an hour, but it usually goes to two. Um, and this one we're talking about, yeah, like really uh, this idea of, you know, dating and relationship, romance with an African man. And, 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 but it's going to go deep and it's going to be real and it's going to be things that I learned and things that I learned about being a woman, being a different woman or exploring those other parts of myself. And I don't know, like seasoned wounds, like I see how that elder, that seasoning, it just, it, I don't know if it's the seasoning that helps me to have better relationships or it's the, the yeah, I think it's timing, but I also think it's the differences. Those differences could be uh, deterrent or they could be a motivator. It, it, will, it will wind up being the very thing I think that can hold that relationship together and the intercultural dating uh, because it's, Something about it keeps the relationship kind of exciting. It's fascinating to see somebody that looks like you, has a skin like you, but in some ways culturally not, but then that's what you think. And then it starts to go deeper and you realize how much you are that. That it's just us, it just takes a matter of us as Africans in the diaspora to remember. So first it seems like there's big cultural differences, but then you start thinking about your granny from the South or from the island. You know what I'm saying? Or, or if you're a diaspora that have been in the diaspora for a long time, that even from the continent. So it's a remembrance. So it goes through these deep things. But you know, it, it could really work. If, I mean, it's um, it, you have to be a person who really is wanting to grow and wanting to know and explore and change. It's fun. And yeah, I'm here for it. So. Yeah, y'all, I'm having a great time. I got a new phone. Isn't it great? Look at all this color. Color, color, color. We are colorful. I love color. I still love color, but not in the bedroom. But in the living room, in this little section over there, I love it. Let's go on, my, on the last section, and I'll let y'all go because my phone is low. Oh, my God. So this is the dining area, but I think the dining area is really about to change. It doesn't really matter because we don't eat here anyway. So that's why I say my next design, ladies, is going to be very thought out when I get when I build the house, even the bamboo house, it's gonna be, it's gonna be so simple. It's gonna be so simple and so simply beautiful, still Afrocentric, still items to put up in your house. Just very natural and simple, and so yes, yeah, so I think I mean this all this furniture that I have. I don't really have a lot. Everything that I own, I absolutely love. Like there's not one piece in my home that I don't love because I, I let it go. So where I go from here, my stuff is going with me. Yeah, but if there's things to sell, I will sell it to you all, and we will keep it moving. So yeah, the classes, we got master classes coming up. I got a few master classes. Those are, those are uh, a little different than um, the Wednesday, Thursday live stream. Those come with a PDF, a worksheet, some questions, homework. So it's a little more packaging. And those classes definitely are two hours, but they could easily go to three hours because a lot of times it's practical stuff. You have to do, you're going to be writing. So it's more of a whole class, a whole uh, master classes are more like workshops. I think that the Thursday lives are deeper information or an extension of something we spoke on, but going behind the scenes of questions that are sensitive. You want to ask what you can, I, can, I want to answer, but I can't hear. And, or just a whole nother dateness, like again, dating Africans or dating outside, yeah. Uh, Africans in that way, so it's good. It's good. Yeah, so yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of classes. And y'all, listen, I'm going to be, gonna be with me this weekend. There's this festival, it's called Chale Wote, but it was in 2020, they canceled it because of the pandemic, and last year they didn't want to do it again because they still thought it was too soon because it brought, draws, it stays like a whole week. It's an art festival. It draws big crowds. It's, it's the bomb. Like, I've been waiting for it. So 2022, 
Uh, it starts, I think it starts today. I'm not sure, but okay, we're going low on the battery. Uh, I don't know how many percentage, but it's going to take me off. So anyway, I hope you'll come through. Let me go plug it in so we ain't have to. And then tell you, this battery holds, so I must have been yapping. I've been taking doing videos, classes. Okay, so we're going to take this one out. This battery. Come on, plug it in. What's the problem? It don't work like that? It just, it's too late? It's over? Let me see y'all. Yeah, it must be just like so. Oh, no, wait. Oh, then I took it out. Okay. Oh no, no. Oh no, it's broke. All right, y'all. I done broke wire. Broke the wire. All right, y'all. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much. Kush clothing is available. Yes, thank you so much. I'm gonna go fix my wire. Love you. Peace.